Hi guys. So I figured today I would do a list of stupid shit that people say. And, you know, the only thing worse than what people say is how people act, but what they say is enough to piss me off. This is a list of the top 100 things that people say without having a clue as to what the hell they're saying. Number one, there are no stupid questions. If there are, new stu if there are no stupid questions, then what kind of questions do stupid people ask? Do they get smart just in time to ask questions? Two, new and improved. Okay, you trickster, which one is it? If it's new, it hasn't been available long enough for improvements to be made. If it's improved, it's been available too long to be considered new. Three, two heads are better than one. Not necessarily. Firstly, when you bring another head into the question, you've now made it possible to bump heads. Secondly, the number of heads does not guarantee the value of each head. This statement is only true if both heads are at least 50% or more than the value of the individual head. With one of the two heads being greater than 50% the individual head, assuming that both heads are able to communicate effectively enough to benefit from this advantage. Four, don't judge a book by its cover. Rubbish, what better way is there to judge a book? Follow this advice and you may end up reading Mein Kampf instead of The Audacity of Hope. Five, I'm only homian, unlike you. Is there anything that you can be in addition to being human? What's everyone else's excuse? Six, same difference. You either don't understand the same means, different means, or both. Seven, a pair of pants. Bear with me for a second here. Why a pair of pants when it's only one item? Some say because we have two legs. I can understand that. But we also have two arms. Why don't we say a pair of jacket or a pair of shirt? On another note, we do say a pair of gloves and a pair of shoes. So what gives? We either have to start saying a pair of shirt or pants. Hell, we even say a pair of glasses. Eight. It is what it is. If by it you are redundant nonsense, then it sure is. Shit happens. So you either have Tourette's or you admitting to while I've been here explaining my dilemma, you've been secretly taking a shit on yourself. Why else you'd make such an outburst? <laughs> and just for the record, these are written over here on this side of my computer screen. As I typed all this out so I could just read through the list and make this video as quick as possible. 10. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. There's nothing killing me right now, so should I, be getting, I should be getting stronger by the second, right? 11. I, personally, after saying I, do you really feel the need to stress the fact that you're making a personal statement? You had me at I. 12. I thought to myself, that's kind of how it works, well, at least until they create brain Wi-Fi or so you're used to thinking for the people that you had to make the distinction. 13. I saw it with my own eyes. That's really convincing here. I was thinking that you saw it with someone else's eyes. Can I ask you a question? Yes, and your limit is up. 15. It's a piece of cake. Firstly, no, it isn't. I've never had someone say oh, it's a piece of cake when referring to an actual piece of cake. Who would have to explain that to someone anyhow? Secondly, what makes a cat? What makes cake a symbol of simplicity? How many people do you know that can be yet can bake a cake from scratch without instructions? I can't. Even if I can bake a cake, it's still not easy. You have to be considered the poster child for ease. Baking takes a lot more time and attention than cooking. Maybe they meant pancake. If that's as easy as a pancake, sounds stupid, but it's more fitting than cake. Did I wake you? No, sometimes I simply lay limp and breathe heavily with my eyes closed. 17. I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you? What were your intentions then? 18. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Why did you take the time to learn that English language? Assuming that if you did, if you want to ask the question after every third word, you have to think that comprehension problems are adapt skills as a speaker. Which is it? 19. Break my heart. The heart is an organ that can twist and bend but not break. Even if your heart could break, the only reason it would affect your relationship would be because you'd be dead. 20. Put your best foot forward. Which one would that be? Who the hell are you? Little foot, long foot? I haven't decided which foot I'd consider my best foot. Even if I had a best foot, why would I put that one forward? If someone pushed me, I'd have to rely on my worst foot for support and balance. 21. If you live by the sword, you die by the sword. How can this be? It's like saying if you live by breathing, you'll die by breathing, or you'll stay alive by dying. Can we talk? You obviously can, so you ask me if I'm a mute. 23. You can't have your cake and eat it too. That's absurd. What's the reason for their owning a cake other than the hell you made the ambassador of cake consumption? 24. Cross my heart and hope today. Why would you say that? It's not that serious. 25. All I know is I gave you a little more credit than that can... That... Ugh. I gave you a little more credit than that, but that does explain a lot. 26, I'm just saying, and I'm just getting tired of you just saying that you're just saying. 
27. All I gotta say is, this is unusually followed by the longest piece of dialogue you've ever heard. Did you mean all you got left to say for the rest of your life? 28. First things first. That's profound. Did you come up with that on your own? 29. First of all, well, what they mean is only of all. They never follow up with a second point. 30. To tell you the truth, to be honest with you, truth be told, I'm not going to lie. So basically what you're saying is that without disclaimer, I should be only expect complete bullshit to come flying out of your mouth. Thanks for making an exception to me. If I were you, if you were me, you'd be talking to an idiot that is imagining that he is me. Number 32. If I told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You're a liar. You're only admitting, you're on, you're admitting with this statement. You know what? Yep, so save the rest. 34. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, that's what I was talking about. Stop taking credit for what I said and why come up with your own ideas. 35. Your spitting image of your father. Really? How would you like it if I said that you were a shitting image of whatever parent shares the same sex as you? Why spitting image? I can't find the image of my father spitting. He usually smiled. 36. You have not because you asked not. Shit, I had it wrong. All I had to do was ask and I'd have it already. Instead of trying to get it myself, does this same rule apply to the man that's starving to death in Africa? 37. It's always in the last place you look. No, it isn't. I find it. I keep looking around. Take inventory or where it wasn't. Of course, if it was in the last place I look, why would I keep looking after I found it? 38. Can we agree to disagree? We could, but I'd have to disagree with you on that. 39. You got up on the wrong side of the bed. Sure did. I knew something was going to be wrong this day after I crawled out from under the bed. 40. God bless America. Who came up with this slogan? People often wonder why the other countries hate Americans. We're fat, stupid, illiterate hypocrites that walk around with a holier-than-thou air about ourselves. What does God bless America mean anyhow? Does it mean let the rest of them have hell but take care of the good guys? 41. Everything happens for a reason. This one is tricky. Everything happens because of a reason, but not always for a reason. Excuse me. People make claims like, that happened so that I could learn a lesson, so that I didn't make the mistake to avoid the accident, etc. They act as though they have tapped into some mythical lesson in the prevention system. When it happens to other people, you hear, well, it was their time to go. I guess he never learned his lesson, etc. How can we ever prove that these things happen for a reason besides what's wrong with good old-fashioned chance? When we do end up on the wrong side, destiny, we don't acknowledge it or act as though for the greater God. Good. Good. Not God. Some things do happen for a reason, though. Remember when you snuck out late at night when you were a teen and were put on punishment? Yeah, that happened for a reason. Nothing happens by accident, therefore everything happens because of a reason. Think you're wrong, you may see a spill coffee or yourself that just happened by accident. No, it happened because you weren't paying attention. 42. The devil is in the details. I might have to agree with the statement. This explains why most religious books contradict themselves often. This also explains why almost everyone interprets these books differently. Devil, you trickster, why'd you always run with all the details? 43. Dirt poor and filthy rich. Which one is it? Number 44. Guess may edutain edutainment, infomercial, and other combo words. These words aren't cute. They sound stupid and make me sick in the stomach. 45. Good things come to those who wait. The leftovers come to those who wait only after they've achieved that they're done toying around with them. The good things come to those who take advantage of opportunities. You lazy people sure are good at coming up with slogans. 46. It'll get greater later. Thanks. I was worried about the cancer until you said that. What gets better with age? Food spoils, people get old, houses gather dust. Besides, are you from a later time in the future? Then how the hell do you know? This statement is just misleading. Better late than never. There are so many examples of how wrong this statement is that I could write an entire blog post on the statement. Only let's just make deli pizza delivery, for example. Late pizza is cold hard and gives you gas like you never believe it. You may say it's better to eat cold pizza than not at all, but if they never brought the pizza, you wouldn't be short 30 bucks. 48. I could care less. You're so stupid that you don't know that you're dumb. Do you mean that you couldn't care less? Saying that you could care less means that you sort of care, you care a lot. This also goes for those who say, I could give a fuck. 49. The grass is always green on the other side. There's dirt on the other side of the grass. Dirt isn't green at all. 50. Why are all the good men taken? Because you're the ungrateful bitch that covets what she can't have. Of course, there are available good men out there, but you lack the lifestyle that would make...
you attractive to them. Besides, good man doesn't mean someone that's going to put up with your bullshit. Fifty-one. There's no time like the present. What other options do we have? You can do only do anything right now. Think I'm wrong? Do you sometimes do something five seconds ago or ten seconds ago from now? Right now. Fifty-two rules were meant to be broken. Rules were made to be followed. Let's see: rape, cannibalism, murder, car theft, etc. Are you saying that the rules are set up for crimes or made so that people would commit them? Fifty-three. It's better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all. How do you know for certain? If you've loved and lost, you have no idea how it feels to have ever loved at all. If you have never loved at all, you have no idea who feels to have loved and lost it. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. If this isn't an endorsement for alcoholism, I don't know what is. Are you suggesting that we drink away our problems? 55. This will hurt. This will hurt me more than it hurt you. Are you trying to mock me? Let me explain how pain works. You know, never mind. 56. I need some space. Great, and it's all around you. 57. It's not you, it's me. Then why are you telling me this and not the other way around? Oh, I get it. You're a noble and you just saved me from myself. You're so full of shit. Ha. Huh. 58. A penny saved is a penny earned. A penny saved is a penny saved is a penny earned is a penny earned. It makes takes more to earn money than it costs to spend it. You have to get up, crawl to that job after you hate that you hate and put up with all types of crap for a wage that isn't ideal to earn money. Do you mean that I don't have to put up with all that crap if I just save my money instead? Besides, what money would I be saving if I didn't earn any? 59. Money doesn't buy happiness. How would your broke ass know? 60. The early bird catches the worm. Maybe it would if there was only one worm. After it rains, there are lots of worms available for picking so much that there will be plenty of worms available when the late bird arrives. 61. Cross that bridge when you come to it. Now, I think I'm going to cross the bridge right now before I get to it and reach the bridge. I'll hand over my already crossed this damn bridge card. 62. If the shoe fits, then wear it. If this were true, there would be no need for a shoe salesman. Maybe this phrase was made for those with a huge selection for shoes. I'm not sure about... Yeah. Dog feet. I'm not sure about you, but I don't know my shoe shopping decisions on size alone. Dumber than a doorknob. That's just stupid. What makes a doorknob so dumb? I'm sure there are other household items that would be considered dumber than a doorknob. Let me see. A toothbrush, toilet seat, toilet paper, plunger, dish rag, seat, rug. Even with those examples, there still isn't a way to determine how dumb they are. Break a leg. How did this phrase even come about? Is this supposed to mean do your best? Are you playing that my best efforts would only result in me breaking my own damn leg? Kiss my grits. 65. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, that's how it works. My personal anguish for cookies to crumb forces cookies to crumble. 66. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. <laughs> that's a circular argument. If the only thing to fear is fear, then how would you know how to respond when it the fear itself presents itself? Besides, there are a lot of things to fear. 67. Too many Indians, not enough chief. Too many Indians, that's like saying not enough Chinese. 68. Dude, how's it hanging? Down to the left slightly, why do you ask? 69. On the other hand. What's in the other hand? See what I just did there? I said in because nothing goes on in a hand. The exception of a glove in some sort. And so I'm believing that the alternative to this statement is on top of your other hand, or even worse, a glove. Mm. Seventy. You are what you eat. I resent being called a cannibal. Seventy-one. Practice makes perfect. Nothing makes perfect. Practice makes better. Seventy-two. That really grinds my gears. Are you a cyborg? If not, then how do you explain having gears? Seventy-three. See you on the flip side. What side is that exactly? No, really, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are we pancakes? Seventy-four. I beg to differ. I have never seen someone beg to differ. They just sit there with their nose up and say, I beg to differ in a condescending tone. That's not begging, that's something that you feel differently. I would like to see you beg, though. 75, curiosity killed the cat. And explosive diarrhea killed the aardvark. Who gives a shit? And I'm supposed to be fear being curious because of some hypothetical cat died. Are you trying to get me to join your curiosity cat-fearing religion? 
And what was the cat being curious about that got killed in the first place? 76, that was then and this is now. Are you going through a slideshow projection? You remember those, right? I really dislike people that explain that explain things that they don't have to be explained. You are in doing that wasting my goddamn time. What else could it be? Let me see. That was now and this is then? Nonsense. 77, at the end of the day. How do did you learn about this in advance? It's 10 a.m. 78, what do I look like? By saying things like, what do I look like, an idiot, you leave yourself open for embarrassment. Stop saying this immediately. It makes you look, makes, it only makes you look like an idiot. 79, it takes one to know one. No, it doesn't. You have to be exactly like someone to be associated with them. Do you know any idiots? Are you one? Sorry, bad example. Number 80, 110% or any other percentage over 100. Since when is 100% not enough? I usually see examples of this on the morning show. Some loud and rowdy Roman claims that she is 9,992.9999% sure that he's the baby's father. Soon after, you are not the father, is heard. 81. Get a life. Huh? I'm not dead, you know. On second thought, you can direct me as to where to get one in the event that this one is expired. 82. I can't wait. You have no other option. 83. What comes around goes around. Wrong. What comes around came around. That's all we can conclude about that. What makes us believe that believe, because something came, it has to go again. Furthermore, what makes us presume that things will leave the way that they came. You ought to be more open-minded about these things. 84. I would like to. I really hate it when people say things I would like to thank you or I would like to apologize. What does it matter that you like apologizing, which is questionable? Just do it. 85. The glass is half full or half empty. I'm not doubting that this can be done. Where was I at? Oh yeah. I'm not doubting that it can be done, but I doubt that it's solely up to me to decide whether it is or isn't. It really all depends on the state of the glass prior to which you begin in being a middle glass. If we're empty, it would now have full. If we were full, it's now half empty. Where are they then? What not? It sounds like you're not used to thinking, so you just throw out possibilities in there and what not. It's all good. You only hear this expression when the situation is less than ideal, hence not all good. Are you twins? I don't have a twin, but I feel your pain. I wonder how many times they have to hear this idiotic question on a daily basis. This one factor makes me happy to have not been born a twin. 89. Before Look before you leap. If you're going to the empty, why does it matter that you look first? If you look prior to leaping in order to determine whether or not you should leap, then you're looking before you decide to leap. 90. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Yeah, but with my other eye, you're ugly as hell. How about this one? Or, how about this? Sticks and stones can bludgeon me to death, but words can... But the worst words can do is hurt me. 91. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, but with my other eye, you're ugly as hell. How about this one? Desperation is in the line of the horny. Yeah, that's more fitting. 92. Literally. I hate it when people don't understand what literally means and use it as if it were cinnamon for figuratively. I'm literally a thin my rope. I wish you were. 93. Everyone knows. Did you take a poll to determine that every living individual knew what you were trying to prove? Then how the hell can you determine what everyone knows? Oh, because you feel the earth revolved around you, I forgot. 94. I do do. This is a pet peeve of mine. It really grinds my gears, JK, when people make me statements like, I do do my own hair, I do do taekwondo, or I do do 50 push-ups per day. You're making it seem as though you have an uncontrollable bowel routine. 95. Think outside the box. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? I've been seeing this damn box reporter shirt trying to figure out what I was in it, why I was in it to begin with. 96. Utmost. It's utmost Nimrod. You are the type of person that never reads and only learns words by hearing them spoken out loud. Library cards are free. The phone is ringing. If I can hear you telling me that the phone is ringing and you're sitting right next to me, I think it would be safe to assume that I can hear the damn phone ring as well. I assure you that I'm not as slow as I look. 98. That goes without saying. Why didn't that? 99. Irregardless. Putting letters I and R in front of it, regardless doesn't make it sound cooler. Irregardless is considered non-standard because of the two negative elements, er and less. 
irregardless is a redundant negative and actually means the opposite of regardless. A hundred, enough said. Why shouldn't it matter that you said enough?